Hello everyone, First Finger here, welcome to our Warlords of Drenor beta playthrough and we are once again just questing through the Shadow Moon Valley today. We're making some good progress here, it did get a little bit laggy in the previous episode, I do apologise for that, hopefully those issues are fixed now. Uh, I think it had something to do with the fact that I was live streaming at the time and Twitch was kind of buggy but I'm not going to have those issues anymore because I'm not live streaming this series at the moment so this is just solely recorded uh, as is and well things should go a little bit smoother now uh, I'm just going to double check exactly what it is we're doing on this quest are we going in a cave or are we not we need to gather 12 volatile spores and it's going to be around the swamp area so as far as I'm concerned that means we are not going in a cave <coughs> so is it around here this is very Zangamarshy isn't it wow this is Zangamarshy somewhat interesting ok I guess we're just going in to kill those things and there's another quest over there as well what in the world was that? Some phasing bug by the looks of it, I would say. Right, let's go and pick this quest up. And there is definitely some kind of phasing bug here because the quest just vanished. But it's bad now. Uh, acquire a pristine spore bat sticker. There we go. So we'll kill some of these things. They don't have a lot of health, so I don't expect them to take. Oh, come on. This is going to take forever if we're going to have some stupid phase. Interesting. Well, that seems to be disappearing. But so far... Ah, okay. Right, I've got you now. Let's get away from that thing. Fortunately, we don't dismount when we hit these, so... If there wasn't actually a phasing bug, you don't kill them. Probably should have read the quest a little bit more carefully than I did. Wonderful, I got a DC. Well, it wasn't actually a disconnect, it was more of a flat out crash. So, that's why I died anyway. Hence, also, the uh, recording got cut off. It's a rare mob of some kind of there, Rivosh or Ravosh. I'm not going to worry too much about it. To be honest, the rare mobs I've noticed aren't exactly the most rewarding things to do uh, or to take care of in Warlords. In Mop, you did get a whole host of experience from killing them, but now, you don't seem to be getting all that much. You get about 6k, which is like 1%. Not a, not a great deal, really. I'm sure in Mop, you got like a bubble's worth, which is about 5%. So hopefully Blizzard will tune up the rare mobs rewards and the items I've got off them also suck to be honest. So I'm not going to concern myself with them right at this moment. What I am going to do is try and avoid any more crashes like the one we just experienced. Not that I know how we can do that. I like the way we can stay on our mount while we do this quest though. Four bats are somewhat of a rarity. I've just seen one though, so hopefully nobody's going to take it for us as we make our way over. Ah! ah! That's somewhat irritating. The quest we picked up. Okay, that is getting really annoying now. And every time I come back and I crash, seem to be almost dead. Well, actually, no. The first time I came back from a crash, I was dead. Let's see if we can get the last few of these things done. I'm guessing it's the area. There was uh, an area in the Mr. Pandaria beat, I remember quite clearly, 
in the valley of the four weeks. And every time anybody tried to go there, uh, they would crash. It was a complete nightmare. So whether there's something similar going on here or not, I'm not totally sure. But what I do want to do is track this thing. Uh, quite a pristine spore about the stinger from a moon blast spore, but I'm not sure why it's not saying they're being tracked on the actual uh, when you strike the mob. But I'm guessing that you still just need to kill them. How many we need to kill them? the beta, that's just what you got to expect. It's my third World of Warcraft beta. Having previously done Mr. Pandaria and the Burning Crusade. Back in the day. Just make sure there's no sting getting the bag. Nope, there is some more though. To be honest, I don't even know if I'm just supposed to be kidding these or what. But I guess so. The only reason I don't know if I'm supposed to be killing them is like I said, it doesn't say on the actual map. I just read the quest. Yeah, the quest is definitely just a kill quest. But whether it's a bug then it's either not dropping or it's just a display bug. I am not totally sure on that matter. What I might do, I'll give this one a go. We have no luck because we crashed, that might have bugged it. Might abandon the quest. Maybe we collected the stinger. Oh no, that's the quest for boy who done is in handy in here. The Legion's end draws me. Nope, it's still not telling us that way. But there we go, it is just a display bug. So we'll hand these two quests in. We've still got a lot of well, we've got three other areas on the map we could choose from, but we may as well Remember complete this whole while we are here. The Naru have not forgotten us. Be kind to those less fortunate. Good so fortune. wants from us next. We need to speak to Maladar at the Fey Landing Zone. Do not lose faith. So, I think we've already been there. That's where we began our questing experience at this particular hub, wasn't it? It's such a pretty zone, this blue. Like, I like the fact that you had a little sort of ascent back to Zangamarsh there. Did Shadow Moon Valley cross into Zangamarsh? I've honestly had a bit of a mind blank. Nope, it didn't. So, maybe some of the pollen from those giant mushroom things blew across between now and the Burning Crusade, so that when that place flooded, the Zangamarsh could grow. Arcanon Poros. Like the new Geno model. Follow Maladar's trail. May your days be long and your hearts. And no, we haven't feel. been here yet in all actuality, and I can see that by the fact that we haven't learned the flight point here, so we'll grab that before we do anything else. And now we need to go and discover this trail apparently. Hopefully now we're out of that previous area we won't get any more crashes. But as I said, this is beta so I'm not going to expect anything. Expect the worst in fact. Hope for the best, expect the worst. And here's the trail we are following. It's a nice glowy line. Fable style. So with all these new questing interfaces, it's going to be pretty darn difficult to get lost, isn't it? 
found the infiltrator's hideout. And alas, there appears to be an enemy attacking us. So we'll quickly dispatch of that, but where there's a succubus, there's usually a summonor. Talk to Exarch Maladar at the altar of Shatar. a dulled claw that counts or something. Right. Where is the altar of Shatar? It's here, it's where we are. It's just not come up on the map. But it's just basically going back to the dude. I knew it was the same The dude, Naru the have not zone, forgotten us. Blessings upon your family. Come on, fella. Maybe we are supposed to just run and he will follow us. Krona Kai Christor. Yep. Got a nice big objective marker plastered here. So one of their buddies seems to be in some kind of thing. And I blame these torturers. Never trust a tortured anything really. Right, so we have defended Hataru's spirit over there. The Legion will fall. And we'll stop us soon to collect our next level. Plant the focus in the end atop the Exarch's rise in Shadow Moon Valley. And for that we will get a blue item reward. Dionys Aka. So I'm guessing that's gonna be the end of this quest line. Then you don't normally get a blue item reward unless you completed the major quest line. It could actually be an epic one if we're lucky. A new feature introduced in WAD is that quest items have a chance to uh, spawn at a higher quality. Now, how are we supposed to get up there? Is it in here? The Legion's end the draws me. Probably should have read what he was doing a little bit better. Uh, we must give the traitor no place to hide. I have a focusing lens that will illuminate cloaked phalanx. You've got to get the feeling we're going to have quite a tough boss fight coming up. Uh. Okay, so we need to figure out our way up to the top there. Good fortune. Mm. Good health. The Naru have not forgotten us. Yeah. This guy's in two places at once, so I'm kind of thinking that that shouldn't be the case. Ah, right, okay. We just need to go up here. I was getting confused by the fact that there was two of the same person. Right. Plant the focusing lens. That's not that. There we go. We planted the focusing lens. 
now we need to reveal the traitor. Ha! XR. Oh, that is. No doubt we've seen that one. Nice little trick. Oh, we keep sending units. Fairly irritating. Yep, that did not work at all. I think this guy's bugging me out for us, isn't he? Let's try it again, shall we? This time I'm not gonna May the light embrace take this fella by the edge of the arena. Warm so wishes to you. Arcanon Poros. that turns up in a few moments. Going now. Oh yeah, this is when he bugged, wasn't he? Right, he's gone. Okay, I don't think you can uh, do this at the moment. Everything will come back to how it was. Oh no, hang on. Where's the turning? He didn't do that last time. I don't know what the hell we did different then. I think we uh, tagged the red demon guy that came because he was great to us before. So, no, we've done it. And I was just about to give up on that as well. That somewhat irritating quest, it's got to be said. But nothing can defeat 
uh, mighty paladin. Not even game breaking bugs. Good fortune. Remember the yep. lessons of Look, the past. That's exactly what I was talking about. Great example for you. Uh, blue braces became epic braces. And we can get rid of our crappy greens now. Open your heart Choose to the a follower, light. either Andrin, Chell, or Onala, and then speak with Exar. I don't know who I want. I mean, I guess this is for our uh, Galison, but. One wishes to We've got Onala here. Uh, so we've got a tank. The Naru have not forgotten us. A warrior engineer. Be kind to those restore. less fortunate. And a DPS rogue. Do I think I like the speak. idea of having a tank. Greetings, friend. Uh, yeah. Favor the road traveled by few. May the light embrace you. Uh. And now we need to go and speak to Baros Alexton. Seek the garrison. So if we can half back to the garrison. Uh, is that the garrison in Bali Village? No, it's not. Garrison is a bit of a mission away. But I do want to head there now. Do I? Yeah, let's head there because we haven't done any of our missions, have we? So I'm just going to half back to Embari Village, I think it's, it's called. And then we can just make the trek back to the garrison. Okay, so I'm just about to return to our garrison. And then we can speak to this individual, Barris Alexton. I've heard that person before, even maybe way back in Bath. Or even vanilla, I can't remember, but quite a while ago. Hey there. Right then, so you have all that good Safe stuff. Safe travels. And do we have a follow up after running all this trek for 1400 experience? Apparently we don't. Now, can we pick up any missions? Uh, mission reports. We get a nice. LUA ever for that. Check back later for more missions. Don't waste my time. Farewell. Okay, you've got nothing for us. Uh, where is our other follower? One I want to speak to them. See what they've got to say for themselves. I've no idea actually. All prices here are reasonable. Right, let's just repair and... Is that a good ring for us? 518? No, not really. Look at that. Don't want it. Uh, trinkets. 515, 500. Can't sell that. Sell all that rubbish, though. By on this, a car. Uh, I don't know where that follower is we just collected. Yeah, I'm still learning about garrisons and how to use them. Uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, folks. I think we'll finish off here today. Let me just see if the garrison architect's got anything to say. Good day to you. Uh, nope. Barracks, we did build them. We still need to build an armory, mage tower, stables, and workshop, and that's just the large buildings. Lots of the good stuff we've got to come as well. Right, folks, thanks for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also share this episode with your friends. I've been your host, Fuzzfinger, and I'll see you next time for more Warlords of Drenor. Bye for now.